does your site have broken links and you're not sure how to fix them? Don't worry, we're gonna go through it today really quickly, super easily, and best of all, with a free tool. If you don't know me, hi, my name is Nina Clapperton. I run She Knows SEO, and I have made every mistake with my blog, including putting links in for years, like four years and never checking them again. Now we've all gone to a website and seen a broken link and then been annoyed that we couldn't access that file. We probably also didn't think that website was super professional because they had this gap. And the more broken links someone encounters on your website, the less professional they are going to think that you are. So we wanna be incredibly careful and clean up our website. But like I said, this is very simple. It's a free tool. Literally anyone can do this and I am here to make sure that you do it as well with your website. Now, a broken link audit, which is what I'm talking about doing today, is something that you should do very regularly, and I recommend including it when you do a content audit of your website. So I have a free content audit checklist that you can grab from the description, there's a link down there, where you will get my 12-page step-by-step content audit framework. This is going to help you ensure that your site is best that it can be for the users, but also that it's its best for Google. So that link is down there, and now we are going to jump into this tutorial. People often think you need to go through every single blog post on your site individually to find any broken link. Nope, because that would be insanity. <laughs> I just straight up would not do it if that was the case. My main website is over 500 pages now. Yeah, I'm not checking all of those. It would just never happen. Luckily, there are free alternatives. So the tool that we're gonna use today is called brokenlinkcheck.com. It is 100% free, up to 3,000 pages in one run. Most of us don't have more than 3,000 pages on our site, so this will be a great free option for you. However, if you do have more than that, then you are gonna need to look into a paid solution. Um, but again, I don't think that's gonna be anybody watching today, so we should be good with this plan. To use Broken Link Check, all you need to do is enter the URL for your site. It's really that simple. So I'm gonna enter She Knows SEO and click Find Broken Links. This is going to take us to a page where we need to enter one of these like horrible little security codes that I always feel really blind trying to enter. <laughs> so we're gonna enter the, enter the little code and then it says report distinct broken links only or report all occurrences of each dead link. I highly, highly recommend selecting report all occurrences and this is because we want to find out every spot on our website where this link is. If you just find out, okay, I have a broken link to a certain hotel, that's good to know. But if you regularly link to that hotel, that's gonna be a problem. Now for myself especially, I reuse links all the time, especially on my Build in Public site where it's all about the same city. So I'm linking to the same hotels all the time. I'm linking to the same restaurants all the time. If I have a broken link, there is a very high chance that I have it in multiple places. Now, on the alternative, if you don't have that, you should still do this because it's unlikely that it's going to pull multiples. So, either way, I think the best option is to click report all occurrences of each dead link and then click find broken links now. Now, I actually started running this already because it is a slow process. I needed to leave this open for about 30 minutes already and this is just what it's done so far but it's going to go through every page of my website systematically, and it does not matter how many links are on that individual page. I could have a page that just has a thousand links. That's still one web page according to Broken Link Check, and it's going to take its time going through every single one of those links. So we're gonna let it run a little bit while I talk, but then I'm just gonna stop it and we're gonna talk about um, actually how I would fix these links. So. What are the actual little columns that we have here? First is the broken link. This is the actual link that is broken. There is something wrong with it. There is a reason that it is returning this link and telling me that there is an error. And the error that we're gonna get, we're gonna find over here in the server response column on the far right. So here they're all 404s. A 404 means that that page does not exist according to this tool. And I will say any broken link checker is gonna sometimes find affiliate links as broken. That's because they have a redirect, they have like UTMs on them and things like that. That's a unique traffic marker I believe is what that stands for. I use it all the time and I always forget what they stand for. But this is essentially going to mean that to the broken link checker, it has to jump through a few hoops to get to that link it's okay. 
always, always, always double check links here before you just go, yeah, 100% this link doesn't exist. So for example, this one for Writer's End, I'm actually not sure because I haven't opened it up in a while. So I'm going to copy and paste it over and we're going to check it. There we go. Okay, it is a 404 because it was on AppSumo at the time. So I need to redirect this. And you can see I have, I don't know, that's at least, I'd say, I think those are all writers. And so that's about 20 occurrences where I have this linked on my website and it is a dead link. And more importantly, it's a dead affiliate link. This is really bad. I need to go in and fix this. So how do we do that? Now over here we have link text and this is going to be the anchor text where the link is associated. So kind of stereotypically it just says writer's end for some of these and that's going to mean that okay obviously it's going to be writer's end that I'll find. Now the page where found is the important part here. We want to click on the URL and this is going to open the web page on your site where this is actually hosted. So here I have my honest rank IQ review. Is it worth it for SEO? And somewhere in this is that link. Now you could read the whole thing and try to find it yourself, but I'm lazy and I want to do things as easily as possible. So I'm going to come back over and make sure I grab that link text, which is going to tell me the exact anchor text here. So then we're going to command F, it'd be control F if you're on um, a Windows computer. And down here I can see, okay, here is writer's end. There are four occurrences of it on the page. First one's not linked. Second one is linked. Third one's not linked. Fourth one is linked. So there are two links here that I need to adjust. So I can click edit the post. I mean, you could technically also command F within the post. I should say that as well, but sometimes it is something on your sidebar or in a footer. So I will usually start with it in um, view mode and not in edit mode. Now we'll come back in here and we will search that again. So here we go. Now, if I click on it, I'll just edit the link and then I'm going to go and find a new link to put in here. However, in this case, it's a pretty link. Pretty link is just a cloaked link to basically have it so that I don't have to put in, like if we open up the AppSumo one, it says appsumo.com slash product slash writer's end slash question P equals one. And it probably would have had some affiliate tag at the end as well. That's a long link. I'm not gonna remember it to share on social. And if I'm putting it all over my website, it's easier just to use one simple link. That way for issues like this, oops, I can go back to my website Let's leave this rank IQ thing. We're going to go over to pretty links once it loads. And then we'll search for writer's end. And once we have it, we're going to be able to actually edit it immediately. So we have writer's end app sumo. I would edit it. I would go grab a new writer's end link, probably just to the homepage or if I have another affiliate link and I'm going to pop it into the target URL, update it, and that will update it across my website. So I am then not going to have to go through the other 20 odd ones that we see here. Now I also have one for Instacopy. I'm pretty sure it's the same issue that I think it was on AppSumo like a year ago or so and I haven't updated it when it went off of AppSumo. So same thing would happen. Now this is also going to go through not just affiliate links but any link on your site. I do like kind of broken link audits fairly regularly on most of my sites. I will admit sometimes I forget. That's not great. We want to do them very often but it means that I don't have thousands and thousands of broken links. So this is pretty quick. And the more often you do this, the faster it's going to go because you're not going to have as many. So keep up to date on this pretty please. It is better for your user. It is better for Google. It is just better all around. Now I'm going to stop this because I don't need more <laughs> to be done, but you can see so far it's done 296 web pages and found 23 broken links. It'll tell you when it's done. So if I terminate it, it tells me that I terminated it. Otherwise it's just going to run till it's done. You're going to want to wait till it says done before leaving the web page or closing your computer or anything. If you stop the internet access, it stops the test and you would then need to start it again. Now you can see that this was a decently slow process because it's running every single instance of the link. But it does mean that if all of these 23 links here were separate links on different like pages of my website, they would all be unique that I would be able to go in immediately find what page they're on on my site, use the anchor text to find them in that post and then adjust it. Also, you see the link here 
please double check these links before you just get rid of it. Um, every once in a while there is a glitch. That's because it's a free option and really everything crawling links has some sort of glitch every now and then. Sometimes it's a security system blocking them out. Sometimes it's just a glitch. It happens. So double check before you just like completely wipe a uh, URL off your website. Now people often ask me why I like this over any sort of plugin on my website, so I wanted to show y'all really quickly. So we have broken link check here, obviously it's not done running, but so far it's found 23 links having gone through 296 web pages on my site. I actually don't know how many total web pages there are to tell you for sure, but I also downloaded a broken link checker plugin and this one found 52 broken links. Interestingly, when we go through all the broken links that it found, not a single one of them is one of the links that was over on um, Broken Link Checker. And this is a problem. This means that we are getting very different results. And almost every single one here is wrong in this Broken Link Check. When I went through them, yes, there's a couple where like I had my YouTube channel linked incorrectly, or it's an ad event that I've since deleted, things like that. But 99% of them, like this one for Bluehost, are real links. Even this one for backlinkcheck.com, actually I'm not sure if that's, oh, backlink check not broken link. There's something there. Webpagetest.org very much works. <laughs> so you can see here that um, these links are not perfect and it's definitely not as um, exact and precise as broken link check is. That's why I much prefer it. Also having these things on your site slows it down. This plugin specifically wants to try and check every three days for broken links. That means it is combing your website every three days, shoving bots all over the place. It's also going to be um, trying to host, all, like hold all of these different ones here immediately every single time. The only thing that I would say is kind of good here is that you can immediately click to unlink it or to edit the URL within this system but it's really not that hard to do it the other way. And I would say that you're missing out on so many links this way, um, and that's just not great. Now, another thing that you can do is try to use Link Whisper. Link Whisper has an errors report that will also show broken links. However, same issue here. It will report links as broken that are not broken. So here we have a Statistics Canada article um, about there being 41 million people in Canada. And I was trying to say like, that's not true. Um, just to be clear, there are not <laughs> that many people. <laughs> but if you click, oh, I was wrong. There are 41 million people. Oh, sorry. It was, uh, I have, sometimes I give the example 41 million people in Toronto. That's what it is. Um, but here we have Canada's population clock in real time and you can see it is working. So what's happening here? Basically, it's not working. <laughs> this, is, this is an incorrect um, error link. And I found, again, that this is happening pretty often. Interestingly, it's basically pulling the same as the free local broken link checker plugin. So I think that there is something to be said for when it's happening within your site, there is more of an issue than when it's happening externally. So I would 100% recommend using brokenlinkchecker.com or pardon me, brokenlinkcheck.com. It's called Broken Link Checker. Um, I always get confused about that, but I use that off your site instead. So how often should you do a broken link audit? I really recommend doing one every single month if you have a spare minute. They don't take very long, and the more often you're doing them, the easier it is to do. So you wanna kind of plan maybe on a Friday, set yourself up with some married at first sight or some trashy television, start your work day, finish your work, have this running in the background, and then when you go to watch your, trashy, watch your trashy TV, you're going to just go through and fix some broken links. It's pretty mindless work, so it doesn't need to be something that is crazy stressful for you, but the more often you do it, the fewer links you're gonna have to amend. I also recommend once you're done running the broken link audit and you've fixed the links as best you can, go back and run it again. Broken link check does not have a limit to the number of times you can scan a website. So scan your website again to make sure that you didn't miss any. When you have a list of like 200 broken links on your website, it can be pretty easy to accidentally jump between rows and miss one of them. I've done it, everyone's probably done it. But this way you can try and catch them a little bit more. You may also catch an extra broken link or two that even broken link check missed. Although I will say I really only had it pull extra affiliate links that weren't actually broken. So you're probably not gonna catch more broken links other than human error. 
Before I go, I did want to add one little bonus tip of how you can use Broken Link Check to actually get yourself some backlinks. You may have heard of Broken Link Building, which is essentially where you find a competitor site um, or really anybody that you want to get a link from, find somewhere where they have a broken link to a resource that doesn't exist, and then either create that resource on your own site, make it original though, we are not like going and copying that old thing, we are like making new original helpful content that is actually about that topic or if you already have one, pitching that article to that company and saying, hey, I see you have a broken link that's not great for user experience. I actually have something on that topic. Would you link to me? In that case, I would put the person's URL, let's just say Forbes, I'd put Forbes.com into brokenlinkcheck.com and I would run it, but this time I would not do every single occurrence of the link because we kind of don't care. We mostly just want to see, okay, what are they linking to? And if we can get an idea from the anchor text or from that first article, why were they linking to this? Then we can try and create that content on our own website and use this as a way of getting a link to our content. It is not foolproof, it does not work every time, and I really recommend don't do this if the content doesn't make sense for your audience. So we're not making um, weird pages that would not be relevant to our users make these only if they are relevant to your niche and that like even if you never got a backlink they are beneficial for your audience thank you so much for joining me today if you don't follow me already you should definitely subscribe like this video leave a comment of what you would like to see next and definitely make sure to check out this next video on the screen of how to back up your wordpress blog Backing up your blog is incredibly important. You don't want to lose any content. And even before you run a backlink audit, because that's a pretty major change, it is a really good idea to back up your website so you don't lose out. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you guys really soon. And I'll be back next Thursday with another video.